Hello everyone, you are watching Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint. We learn about PowerPoint basics today. First of all, we need to open the PowerPoint. Click on Start. And then select Microsoft Office. Click on Microsoft PowerPoint 2010. Yeah, we are using Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 for making our presentation. On the first slide, you will get two options here. Click to add title and click to add subtitle. Then you can enter the title here, which is PowerPoint presentation here. And similarly, you can add subtitle. Then you can add the next slide. Click on new slide and you can check the themes. Means you can add the type of second slide. You can select the type of second slide. You will get multiple options. One is where you can add the title along with the picture. Then you can add the second would be where you will get the two contents. Okay. We will select the title and content, this type of slide here. Now it gives you an option to add the title and to add the text. In the first section, we will enter the title. Your title goes here. And then in the second section, you can enter the description. Which has to be very short and simple. And which has to be to the point. Yeah. Now if you want to insert any picture here. Click on picture icon. And browse the location where you have saved the picture. Suppose we want to insert this image. Click here and click on insert. Then you can resize your image, increase or decrease the size, select the picture with the help of arrow keys, you can change the location, you can move it up and down with the help of up and down arrow keys, place it properly, okay. Similarly, you can add the next slides also in the same presentation, you can keep on adding the slides as per your requirement. And you can select the format of the slides as well. Okay, let's make the presentation with these two slides only. We'll remove the third one. Okay. The second thing is uh, about the fonts. Whatever we have written here, we can change the size of the font, we can change the font itself, we can change the color of the font. Select it. You can increase the size of the font using this big A. Keep on clicking it and it's going to increase the size. Then click on this small A, it's going to decrease the size of the text you have written here. Alternatively, you can click on this drop down and select the size of the font. You can change the type of font from this box. And if you want, you can change the color as well of your font. Yeah. The next thing is that choosing the design for your presentation. Click on design and you'll get the multiple designs here. As per your requirement and as per the theme, you can select any of the design. Suppose we select this design here. Now this is our first slide PowerPoint presentation by this. Yeah, and this is the second slide. All right. So these are the multiple designs and you can select the design that suits your uh, object or the, the presentation. Okay, moving forward, 
we have next tab as transition click on transition and you will get multiple options here suppose we select fade option the effect it gives is that the first slide fades out and the second one takes its place yeah like this okay now the second we have multiple options here you can select any one like ripple we have the ripple effect yeah in this way the second slide comes in then we have other tab animation click here it gives the animation to your written text suppose we select description here and we select floating click here yeah now similarly you can se select the text and you can keep on adding the animations then we have other tab slideshow click here it give you multiple options you can run the slideshow from here itself click on from beginning or from the current slide it will run the slideshow and you can set up your slideshow as well click on set up the slideshow it gives you certain options like advanced slides it give you the manual app option or using the timings if present if you select the manual slides and click on ok it give you the option to run the slideshow manually i'll show you how it does that click here from the beginning you can get the first slide here powerpoint presentation then click on the arrow key you will get the second transition that was the effect the ripple effect that we have applied now you keep on clicking this the animations we have applied description comes and short and simple yeah that comes click on this once again and yeah that is the end of the slideshow so this is the way how we can make a simple powerpoint presentation you can browse multiple options here you can insert the word art that gives you the option to write your titles in a very different way in a innovative way you can add charts here as per the requirement you can click on this you can add multiple charts here then you can add the shapes as well you can get multiple shapes the line arrows flow for the flow charts you can add different shapes shapes on the powerpoint slides then in the designs you have a lot of options here for selecting the design as per your requirement so similarly you can browse and you can look for the multiple option that was a overview about making the powerpoint presentation that how you can prepare the presentation and how you can run the slideshow i hope that helps you a lot in making the powerpoint presentation thank you thanks for watching the idiopedia world video